Hey everybody, I just got back from France where I road tested the Boss VE20 vocal processor. This is a vocal performance processor for the performing vocalist. Now, usually I'm using my computer to actually process my vocals, but I wanted to give my computer a bit of a rest, so I decided to try this guy out. So let's see if I can't show you what I learned on the road with the VE20. I teach, I travel, I DJ, I'm Abe Duque. This is Abe's Road Test. Okay, so here we are again in my studio in Hollis, Queens, getting ready to go for a little weekend to France. I'm going to be playing in Bordeaux and in Paris. And this time, I decided to bring the Boss VE20. All right. It's now the morning after. We're still in Bordeaux. Party was really good. And now it's time to head out, take the train to Paris so that we can play at the Rex tonight. Alright, we're here at the club during sound check. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but I've got my BE20 set up to go ahead and uh, play tonight. Wish me luck! Uh. Alright, mission accomplished. I just played the most amazing set, if I have to say so myself. Uh, the Rex was packed, the set and the energy, it was just amazing. This is the thing that, you know, gets me going. So, very satisfied. Boss V20 came in very handy, actually. Now, packing up and getting ready to head back. I'm going straight to the airport and flying back to New York. On this last tour, I brought along with me the Boss V20 vocal processor. It's a microphone level voice processing stomp box. The VE20 takes the familiar Boss twin pedal design that we see in devices like the RE20 Space Echo and tries to give the gigging vocalists all they may need in an onstage processor. It includes a wide range of conventional effects, harmony generation, phrase looping, and even auto tuning. A really rugged metal case, battlefield ready. It has both XLR and TRS in for a mic and connections for output to a PA or headphones via quarter inch headphone jack or balanced XLR. Battery power is very convenient. You can run the unit for about eight hours continuously using alkaline batteries. However, you could also purchase an optional power adapter from Boss. It's remarkable that even on the battery power, it has phantom power functionality. Now, phantom power is a 48 volt uh, electric assist for your microphone so you can get better sensitivity. The faceplate layout is rather sparse, keeping the amount of controls to a minimum. One pedal is used for activation of harmonies, and the other for the built-in phrase looper. The center knob lets you scroll through your memory presets, both factory and user configured. The menu button will access several parameters that can be changed in the unit. The arrows to the left and right of the main knob allow you to access different pages in the editing mode. The exit button, well, use this to return to the previous screen or to cancel an operation. The reverb level button turns the center knob into a control for how much reverb you want to have. The on-off pedal turns the effect on every time you press it. One, two, now we have the effect going, and now it's off. The phrase loop function turns on off if you hold this pedal down for two seconds or more longer. So if I hold this on, two seconds, now I'm ready to do a phrase recording. And now I'm recording, and now, now I'm recording, and, and now I'm recording. Before I left, I sat down and programmed a personalized user patch for myself. Basically, it makes my voice sound a little bit crazier, as you might hear. 
not too much different than what I usually sound like, but it allows me to talk to people and tell them to do crazy things. And then if I wanted to while the music is playing, I could turn on this phrase looper and do, let's say, a cool loop and let your body free. Let your body free. And I'll just let, your body let it go free. while I'm playing let something else, grab free. some beats, twist let things up, filter stuff, free. so on and so forth. On the other side, we have the harmony pedal. Now, we use the harmony pedal to be able to trigger the harmonies that this machine is able to create. Now, if I grab this microphone and try to sing something, Mary had a little lamb. I'm not a very good singer. Uh, it sounds pretty okay, I guess. But if I go ahead and click on the harmony pedal, there's a little light here that lets you know when the harmony pedal is activated, which is the harmony indicator. Now it's again deactivated. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Larry had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. Now this VE20 allows you to manipulate about six effects at one time, chained all together. Now there's dynamics, and I'll just scroll through them. There's pitch correction, there's tone and sound effects, there's double and harmony, there's delay, and there's of course reverb. When using this thing, it's a great idea to set up your mic sensitivity. Sometimes it might be picking up too low or distorting because you're too loud. So the way you do that is you hit the menu button here and then scroll with these arrows to the mic sensitivity page. And now I'm gonna talk on the mic. And as you can see, my mic sensitivity is pretty healthy right now, but I can lower it or I can change it all the way to the top where I'm getting too much. So the ideal setting is to have it at a point where it's just hitting the top and not much more than that. One thing I didn't like about this unit is that it didn't have a dedicated input for my microphone on the front faceplate. That would have made things a lot easier and it would have been a lot more fun to play with it. But the good points of this, it's really well made, sound quality is great, phantom power is amazing, and for about 250 bucks, you can get one and start gigging with it. I'm not that good at using this pedal when it comes to singing and beatboxing and stuff like that. But I had heard about this guy that hangs around this neighborhood, you know, standing on the corner beatboxing and singing. A couple of days ago, we went out, found him, blessed him with this unit, and now let's see what happens when he comes back in here and shows us what he's learned. Thank you. I'm a beatboxer. So this is the guy we found. What's your name anyway? I don't even know your name. Jace. Jace, right. So we've had him here at Dubspot for a couple of days. Let him come in here and play with this piece, clean up a bit, fed him a bit, and got him presentable for this show. So without further ado, let's show what Jace learned with the VE20 and how he gets it going. Now, maybe you could tell us a little bit of how you did that. I, I was pretty impressed by that, actually. Made a couple presets of my own, 
did a hybrid. This was some drums. So I tried to make them a little more punchier, a little more, a little more in your face. How'd you do that? Uh, just going into the presets, worked with dynamics. Also gave it some depth, a little bit of enhancement, not too much. A little coarse, coarse abs adds a little thickness to it. Right. I had an effect where it was kind of a flangey effect. <laughs> Gives it that around the room feeling. Then I did a hybrid with the presets because some of the presets were pretty good. The strobe. A little low end helps that strobe sound like a, a dubstep type of sound. Chorus. <laughs> Make it sound like there's multiple people in the room. And then towards the end, I like the hard rock. So the presets are good on it. Custom making your own presets is definitely a plus. Only problem that I have sometimes is you gotta line them up next to each other so when you go through the knobs, you gotta find out which ones and where your presets are. I like what you said, I wish there was an extra volume knob on the top just so we could like mess with the volume going in and out. So I have to con concentrate more on mic control and where, I do my, where my mic placement is to make sure I get the level for each layer that I layer. The other thing too with the phrase looper, when I stop it, it actually stops the loop, so it deletes. It's so pretty annoying, isn't it? It is pretty annoying. So when you do layer after layer, it just gets thicker and thicker and thicker. I might add that there's no actual way of saving the loop. In, yes. It's just volatile memory. Once you stop it, it's gone, and it's gone forever. Yes. That's not good. Basically, now I can sound like anyone I want to. I can make effects. You know, since it's battery-powered, I can get a battery-powered amp and just walk around. So the beatboxing has been enhanced tenfold, and I would say that just having this in general and the red look behind it makes me shine. Hey everybody, I just got back from France where I... <laughs> the face paint loud. The menu... <laughs> The man. <laughs> Easy. This is a really creative. <sighs> Don't look at me. All right. <laughs> Took some of the effects in there, turned them around, and <laughs> stop. <laughs> Sorry, I meant to look. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, Dubspot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you come to the right place. Come explore Dubspot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.